Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am Simply Brentley. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe. Holy Father, angels, ancestors, speak through me. I hope I reach as many people that resonate with this message. Please, please, and thank you. All right, all right, all right. Let's go ahead and ground. Release all that negative energy. Only welcome in that good, positive energy. And this is for the collective. Y'all, excuse me. My allergies are just cutting up. Once again, you know, the pollen is really out. I'm going to go ahead and use my um, Hip Hop Oracle deck to see what we have. Let's get the overall general energy of this reading. We have Beyonce with love. And then we have Mary J. Blige with healing. Okay. So even when it says Beyonce with love, um, you know how she's doing the, the country album right now and a lot of people are not accepting of it and a lot of people are just getting with it and don't mind. I feel like there's something very different that you're stepping into. There's something different that you're stepping into. And even with this right here with Mary J. Blige doing it and it says healing, this reminds me of a gem around her neck. So, uh, aquamarine. So, if you resonate with that. But it, but it's definitely like in the energy of you going on a journey. And it's very different than some something you've experienced in the past. Okay? And now, I was led to use the Moonology Oracle deck. So, let's see what the Moonology Oracle deck has for us today. I just saw you're good enough. So if you're questioning if like you're good enough or why something may have not gone right in the past, just know it was not you. Emotions are running high. So yeah, exactly. Um, so, you know, if you're really in your feelings about something, the way something has gone recently or, you know, in the, in the, in the distant past, which whatever it may have been, just know that you are protected. Know that you are covered. Know that this is going to start. Um, very soon come to resolution and you're not going to have to worry about this any it's going to really just be uh an afterthought and very soon okay but it's going to be up to you to just really uh stay committed to what you know that you know this journey that you're on it's going to be for you up to you for you to communicate communicate effectively right we have to communicate effectively. You can't do no hollering, yelling, screaming, none of that stuff. We have to be able to use our grown people words. And, you know, sometimes uh, you may turn to silence, but you know, that's not the answer either. It's really something that you really need to communicate um, right here. And step out of your comfort zone. Like I said, this is um, this is going to be something very different. Okay? So, so this is something very different, and this is something that you're not used to, but you're called to do. And it's okay. <laughs> right here on the bottom of the deck. A new start is coming. Full moon. I mean, new moon. So, as we do, and I'm going to do a reading before the 8th um, so we can talk about the things that we should be expecting with this um, eclipse coming. Um, but a new start is coming. There, there's a lot of things that are, that are going to be changing in the very near future. And I'm going to give you um, just like some tips on what you can do to set your intentions. I'll, I'll do that this weekend. It, I don't know when I'm going to do it exactly, but it's going to be before the 8th. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and put some tarot on it. We're using the um, my favorite deck. We have the Page of Pentacles with the Magician. And this Page of Pentacles is manifestation as well. So, you know what? This, whatever you're doing that's different, it's going to bring in some monetary blessings. It's going to give you something. Um, it's, it's very resourceful. A lot of people are going to be very much so... <laughs> Got right here. And they're they're going to be shocked. They're going to be shocked because this is very different from what you normally do. And then also, they're, they're, some, they're very resourceful. They can be very shocked in like how, how good you are at this. Okay? And you're proving a lot of people wrong. But, you know, Seven of Pentacles here, you're just being consistent and, and the consistency is leading to success. So that's all you have to do to be successful is be consistent, right? We have the Wheel of Fortune here. And I tried to do this reading previously. The Wheel of Fortune came out as well. So there's a lot of movement here. There's a lot of progress. There's a turning point that's happening in your life. And um, it, it's, it's just like wonderful. I'm getting, oh, Lord, how excellent. 
So, so it's, it's something magnificent, something that you're going to be very grateful for. Here we have the temperance, something that's bringing balance, something that is very much so like in the energy of you really just getting like going with the flow and getting in the groove with doing things like the rhythm, the rim, rhythm and harmony of it all. Right. And this comes after some type of heartbreak. This comes after some type of pain. And then the other one, the other reading that I was trying to put out um, for the collective, it was a will of fortune, but it was a will of fortune with the tower. So there was something that happened in your life that did not go as planned. That's making you go on a different journey. And, you know, even though this have, may not look like any of your peers, even though this may not look like any of your relatives, any of your friends, it's your journey and it's yours to be had. And even though it's different, it's your way you're doing it. And it's not ever too late. It's not ever too early because if it's your journey, your story and you're writing it as you go, who's to say that, right? So now we have the Eight of Cups. So you're really changing your priority. You're really letting go. You're really seeking a deeper meaning and you're leaving the past in the past. So any um, naysayers, any type of um, lower vibrational thoughts that you may have even within yourself, you're letting that shit go. Because you know that you have to, you know, have the power to believe and to, you know, as corny as it may sound, you have to have the power to believe to achieve. So in order to, uh, to you know, have these expectations and actually meet and exceed them, you have to believe in yourself. You know that self-love is going to be always the most important thing to help you to be able to move up, to help you to be able to change your timeline, to help you to be able to manifest what you want, what you desire, what you deserve, period. Now we have the Nine of Pentacles. So it's like you're being grateful. You're being in the energy of, you know, just being, knowing that you have everything within you to be able to create anything you want is leading to a lot. Now what do we have? We have the, we have the Nine of Wands. So you're very driven, you're very goal oriented, and you're very much so a, a person that is um, passionate about what you do. So really pay attention. I'm getting pay attention to um, somebody, you know, trying to take advantage of that because a lot of times you lead with your heart, um, and you know some people can come and swoop in and try to take advantage of that. Pay very close attention to that. But I see you seeing like you calling a thing a thing, and whenever you see somebody with some bullshit, you know that. They're not honest. They're not, you know, wanting your 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 greater good. Then you're letting that situation go, and you're going towards whatever this is that's very different. That you know, nobody that you know is really, you know, has ever accomplished anything like this before, um, or done anything like this before. You, but you know, it's for you. We have the two of cups here, so you know that this is going to cause union. You know, like union, you know, and union is a partnership, right? Sometimes you have to go through different things and be put, you know, you're put in the exact right thing, place at the right time in order for you to come into um, connection with certain situations in order for something to manifest that, you know, is, has been working itself all the way down the line. And this story finally plays out. And we have the Ace of Swans. So you are creating new cycles. You are having that will and determination. And as you are having that will and determination, you're remembering like who you truly are. You're, you're awakening. You're seeing a lot of signs. You're seeing a lot of synchronicities. 111 is lighting up. 11-11. Um, it's, it's a lot of things that's showing you that you need to focus on yourself. And as you focus on yourself, growth is going to be very much an internal process, but it's going to be magnificent. All right, all right, all right. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe. As always, peace, love, and namaste.